This 500 calorie cheeseburger bowl is a nice alternative to a regular burger and is super easy to make. Instead of using a bun, I will start with cooking rice. I will start with this step because the rest of the recipe needs only a couple of minutes. So for one serving, I will add in 50 grams of basmati into a pot with a pinch of salt and then I will add 125 grams of water. Now bring the water up to a boil and then immediately switch the heat down to low and let it simmer with a lid on top for 12 to 15 minutes. In the meantime, I will first make the, in my opinion, most important step and it's the sauce. Now, a regular burger sauce consists of 10 grams of ketchup, 5 grams of mustard, 10 grams of mayonnaise, salt, pepper, and 10 grams of the water of pickles. This is a super easy and really delicious sauce. The problem is that because of the mayonnaise, it's super high in calories. Mayonnaise consists of basically pure fat and thus has 700 calories for 100 grams of mayo. So the 10 grams that are in this sauce have already 70 calories. If you want to reduce that, there are a couple of options. I tried to swap up my for fat-free cream cheese, I tried it with skewer Greek yogurt, but actually the in my opinion best tasting option is with the light miracle whip. It doesn't lack sweetness like Greek yogurt or cream cheese and comes relatively close to the taste of mayo. Also I will add in sugar-free ketchup that in my opinion tastes pretty much the same as the regular one. So I would suggest you just try all three versions of all time and decide which one works best for you and your caloric needs. I will add in 10 grams of miracle whip for this version and set the sauce aside. Next is the burger meat and I have here 180 gram of extra lean ground beef. This has 5% fat. If you buy the regular ground beef from the butcher shop, you will get the 80-20. It has double the calories, so keep an eye on the fat content. Then I will also prepare a slice of American cheese. This is a 50 calorie slice that I will cut into small pieces. The last thing that will go into the frying pan is a yellow onion. It weighs 50 gram and I will dice it as well. So this will be fried in a minute, but before that I will also prepare some vegetables to add on top later on. I will cut 30 grams of Roman lettuce into smaller chunks and also dice some pickles. The entire cooking process requires only 4 minutes, so I will start just before the rice is almost done. A touch of olive oil goes into a pan on medium high heat and then I will add in the ground beef first. I will try to loosen the meat with my spatula by smashing it. The more meat gets in contact with the pan, the more browning can develop and the more flavorful the beef will become. I will add a pinch of salt, 10 cranks of black pepper and also a teaspoon of MSG. MSG is really great in combination with beef, it enhances the flavor a lot. I will fry this now for 2 minutes, just until the bottom is color but the top side is still raw. Now I will add in the onion. Mix everything with the spatula and cook this again for 2 minutes so the onion becomes translucent and starts to caramelize. Now we'll add in the cheese and cover it with parts of the meat so it melts a bit quicker. What you can also do is to add a bit of water and close the lid. The steam will help melt in the cheese in literally seconds. By the way, this also works if you make extra burgers. And that's it! 4 minutes later I can assemble my bowl. First I will add rice as a bottom layer, then I will add a meat on top, the vegetables will get on the side and lastly I will add my sauce. The entire recipe comes in with 538 calories, 51 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat and 50 grams of protein and is in my opinion a cool alternative to an actual burger. Click on this video to see how you can make a 400 calorie chicken sandwich and see you there.